Hey guys, it's AD Video Editor here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to simulate the speed of gravity in terms of pixels per frame in After Effects, um, Premiere Pro, some other software, anything, any software you want to do, this is how you would do it. So the reason you want to do this is, let's say you have a shape like this, and you want to make it look like it's falling. So normally I would go into position, keyframe it, and then maybe go a second later, and move it down, and then if I play it back, yeah, that doesn't really look like it's falling, like, because that is obviously much slower than the speed of gravity that people are used to. So the way you would do this is you'd need to get a, a video like this where you are dropping something, or you at least have something falling, because something falling is the speed at which, at which gravity would take it. Now you would obviously not want to use something like paper or a feather because that wouldn't that um, would get held back by air resistance. So right here I'm dropping a pen and you can kind of see it. And you'll notice that the pen it's not really very flat. It's um it's a little wider because it's dropping. It's expanding. Well, it looks like it's expanding because not I wasn't using the best of camera and you know because it's being pulled down. So what you want to do is you're going to create a sh your shape. And what I'm going to do is extend it so that it's about the height that the pen looks like. Alright, so right about there looks good. And now I'm going to go back to the, first, to the first frame. Let's see, right there, that's when the pen's first in. So now I'm going to go to the position of this. Now I'm going to bring this up so that the bottom matches up with the bottom of the pen. Then I'm going to start keyframing the position. I'll go to the next frame, move this down. Next frame. Whoops. Next frame. And lastly, like that. Okay, so now I'll zoom into the keyframes. And basically the difference between these two, between any two, would be probably your average speed of gravity. It's not going to be the exact same difference between every two keyframes you have here. So let's say I'll go between these two. So you've got 683 for the Y, and now you've got 969. So to make this easier on myself, I'm just going to get a calculator. So 969 minus 683, so that's 286, so about 286 pixels per frame. And so that's that. So now if you have this shape and you just want to make it go down, you can easily just adjust it so that it moves about 283 pixels every frame. Well, let's say, I don't know, you don't want to deal with all that, and maybe you want it to at two seconds in, you want it to come falling down. So you can go ahead and let's say move this down, like to where, where about you want it. Let's say the bottom just hits the, let's pretend it's the ground there. And now we want to figure out what we have to do to get this, um, the falling motion. So what you can do is you could start all the way back at zero, zero, but I'm just going to start at maybe one second. So basically the whole fall is going to take one second. So now we have, so we know that it's 286 pixels per second. So now you're going to, pixels per frame. So now you want to find pixels per second. So to do that, just multiply it by the number of frames in each second. I'm using 30 frames per second. Um, um, you might have the same thing, or you might have 60 frames per second or something else. So either way, I'm going to do that, and I have 8,580. So what I'm going to want to do is go, is take my position of 1,376 and subtract it from 8,580. So 1,376 minus 8,580 equals negative 7,204. So I'm going to go to my one second. And make this negative 7,204. And so now you'll notice 
Like, there's a lot of empty space because this is high, very high up above the viewing area. But you'll notice down at the bottom right here, it comes flying in. And so if we play that back, right, it looks like it's just coming and falling right in. Not that great here. Well, let me fix my render settings there. Now let's try it. Yeah, that looks a little better. It's just um, on my RAM preview, I did skip every two frames. but So now I'd have to say that looks pretty good. And depending on your composition size, this will be a little different. It's not always going to be the same. Um, the first time I did this, I took some notes. I did it in 1080p, which is like what we just did, and at 720p. And at 1080p, I got 260 pixels per frame, a little less than what we got here. And 720p, you notice I got something very different, 163 pixels per frame. So if you're always working in 1080p, then it might just be simple for you to remember that it's about 260, 283, or whatever you got. But notice if you're switching, you're definitely going to want to do this little test again to get your new gravity speed. And so that's basically it for this tutorial. Hopefully this is helpful. I know it was very helpful for me to figure this out because I was able to make much more realistic looking falls with my animations. Alright, well guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, email me at ad.videoeditor at gmail.com. And remember, I don't know what everyone wants to see, so if there's a specific issue or tutorial you want to see, then email me. I'll figure it out. I'll make a very easy to understand tutorial, and it'll be like a t t tutorial just for you to help you guys out. Well, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.